A visit to the shooting range for sighting in the Kalonox is unavoidable. The rifle has been zero sighted in advance at 100 meters. At first, the fitting adapter needs to be screwed on all the way to the end stop, then slightly back to the requested position of the locking lever. After that, the locking ring is screwed and tightened against the adapter in order to fix it in the requested position. When mounting, watch out for a straight fit and close the lever. After the preferred reticle illumination and magnification has been set, the first shot is going to be fired at the 100 meter target, which has already been prepared with a 4x4 cm heat plug. For a correction of approximately 2.5 cm to the right, press the menu button and hold down to enter menu 2. Here is some general advice. The handheld mode in the menu should always be deactivated when the Kalonox is used as a clip-on device. Navigate with the minus button to more, confirm with the menu button, choose reticle correction and select with the menu button again. Now switch from up-down to left-right correction with another push of the menu button. Then, with the push of the plus button, move the point of impact 2.4 cm to the right. After all desired settings have been made, press the menu button for longer to leave the reticle correction. Now the settings are going to be checked with two more shots. For demonstration of its repeatability or its return to zero capability, the Kalonox sight is taken off the scope, put back on and an additional shot is fired. By the way, the Kalonox sight has four different gun profiles that allows the item to be used on up to four different rifles. As anticipated, the last shot sits directly in the center between shots 2 and 3. The Kalonox sight is now sightened in at 100 meters and ready for the use in the hunting fields. Good luck for your hunt!